Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Juliet Sewing Live. Today we will be making a jersey top. This one, the new look 6420. I'm actually wearing one I made earlier. And we'll be using our Brother 1034 to actually sew it up. I will be using my sewing machine because I don't like to sew everything on my serger. I like to make sure that it fits. That's why I use the sewing machine. And then once I know that it fits, I'll finish it all off with um, the, sew the serger. Thank you. And as you can see, there is actually attached to the fabric. I've been experimenting with this new fabric. Well, it's a pattern spray. And you just spray it on your pattern and you press it down to your fabric and you can press it and it stays which means that you have the crispest cuts because there's no pins it's really fast and I'm definitely going to be doing a tutorial on that another time but I, I am super excited about it and I'm very pleased with the results so I will definitely be showing you how to spray your fabric or your pattern so it sticks onto your fabric and so you get a cleaner cut without any pins. Okay, what I love about this pattern is it only takes three pieces. As you can see, as you can see, it's one whole piece with the sleeve, just like that. And that's, this is the front and the sleeve, and this one is the back and the sleeve. And then of course, we just have the neckband. So it's just three pieces. It's super simple to put together, and I'm super excited to show you how to do that. And so once it's finished, once you've actually cut everything out, as you can see, it just peels off just like that. And there's no residue on the fabric. I think it's got a little bit of tack left, which means that once you make this again, you will be able to use it uh, to just press it onto your fabric and then uh, cut out, uh, sorry, press and then cut it out. So you should be able to reuse it again can't wait to show you that that is a really great find okay so now what we're going to do the first instruction is to sew our shoulder seams together so we're going to match up our notches make sure that our notches are right now jersey does curl if you do have a wool mat or something this really helps to grab it and so you'll be able to match them up so much easier than if you was on like your cutting board and because we're using the Brava 1034 um, overlocker machine, it does not have a seam allowance gauge. This pattern requires you to um, have a 5 8 seam allowance. So the Brava machine doesn't give you that allowance. So how do you know how to write, sew the right amount? So the first thing to do is to match up your notches, which we've already done. Now, what I've done, well, I didn't do, I've got my husband to do it, to do a 5 8 strip, which is just like on a, sort of like a pliable card. So what I do is I just put it along here, along the line here, and then hopefully you can see that. Let's move that up a bit. Yes, it does take a little bit of time, but you do want it to fit. So the whole point of it is to be able to fit. So this might take a little bit of time doing it, but we really only have what one, two, three, four, five, roughly five, five seams to do, and then you hem it. So it's really easy. So you just do that all the way down, all the way down. And I do not use, when I'm on my serger, I do not use pins. I only use clips. So just clip, together like so but make sure you put your line on first because it's very difficult to get the right um, measurements when it's not when it's not flat so make sure that your your um, edges are your raw edges are lined up you just put your tape along here right on the edge Hopefully you can see this you just do a nice little line so you know that that is five eighths and your seam allowance is perfect so i'm just going to pin that here yep Oops. and move it down a little bit more 
because it rolls so much it's quite a challenging fabric but as Coco Chanel said it is beautiful it is like cashmere and she was not wrong it feels so nice and obviously with the situation the world finds itself in we need loungewear so this is perfect for that i'm just going to clip that again really want to impress upon you that it does take a long time to make things and i remember when i was starting out i was like what gosh she just whipped that up and she probably whipped it up because she edited it number one and number two she's probably been doing it for forever so don't feel the need to be rushing so when you're finished you will have your seam ready just like that now i'm going to take it across to the serger and serge along this line so we're going to lose this and we'll have that seam all sewed up okay so now we're at the serger machine the line that we have made is what you should want is you want almost to be on the side here so if I put it so it should be sort of so that's going to be cut off if you see it's so just slightly in from there so I'm going to pop it underneath the foot now as you can see I've still got my first clip in I'm going to make sure that that's lying nice and straight there we go clip out and just to keep that line close to here so then it we're cutting that one. And we should get it. as you can see it's cutting that off nicely take your time you can just run your knife along the white just before the white chalk line or whatever markers that you used to get to that just take your time keep adjusting so can move my hand out the way it's hard there we go i literally got my knife on that white chalk line so i absolutely know that I am getting my eight seam allowance on my sleeve. Oh, let's just take that out. Nice and gently, take your time. you can do is let's see let's see what we've got five eighths right here and there it is perfect five eighths i put it on top you see and that's your seam allowance and you just absolutely nailed it love that little technique i hope that helps you so that's your first shoulder seam and sleeve seam sewn just tidy up nicely here and you do that on the second side and then you'll have your shoulders done and I'll come back okay now do be careful in terms of your seams because some jersey fabric is very temperamental so a pressing cloth would probably be best but really check your temperature because really sewing uh, pressing is the other part of the sewing technique and without a good seam 
to make sure your seams are going the right way all the way down and then just press and more to the point just set the seam there perfectly set okay so that is your shoulder seam set i'm going to do the other one i'm going to use my wall mat to set the seam first make it nice and flat We just want to press, we're not ironing, luckily, not a fan of ironing. I do like folding laundry though, I actually quite like that. I like the little piles, I think I'm working at the gap or something. So, and these little sleeve boards are so, so useful. And I really would suggest that you have one in your arsenal of tools because I think it really makes a difference especially if you are actually making clothes so make sure your seams are all going in the right direction or the same direction all the way down so which way is it going that way towards there so let's make sure that's all going down in the same direction but it's not here okay so it's twisted push that down like that. that is a bump Because if you don't have your seams set right um, and to press as you go along, your garment will really not look lovely. And we are working very hard, so there's no point in letting a good pressing spoil all your achievement. Just move that up a bit, make sure it's going in the same direction. There's a lump, I can feel it. So swapped over there we are I'll trim that in a minute just press it and then at the top right at the top that's going in the right direction lying flat lovely Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the neck band. Okay, so now we're going to attach the waistband, the neck band. So what we're going to do is we're going to match our seams. That's the first thing. So this is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. You can see I've got my little markings there. Hopefully you can see that maybe this light might be better. So we're gonna match our seams at the edge right here. Match these two little notches. And I'm going to use the sewing machine for that. There we go. now it says fold it lengthwise with wrong sides together so this is the wrong side i'm going to open out this seam here give it a bit of a finger press there and now fold that back on itself so now the right side is facing on the outside Threads. Okay, so open out that, matching all our raw edges. I'm going to give it a press once I've got them all facing in the direction we need them to go. It's going to make it a lot easier to sew. So let's 
bring it over to the mat and bring the mat over just a bit. I'm going to use the sleeve press because it will make it a lot easier for me to... With the chairs, it rolls so much that you, that's what you'll spend most of your time doing, unrolling it. So you can actually press it. So once you've got all your notches lined up, just give it a press. And I must say this, that my wall pressing that has been absolutely i didn't realize how much i'm going to need it for jersey because it does grip the fabric which makes it so much easier especially the fabric that keeps rolling let's just press that i don't want to stretch it so now i'm just going to where are we that's the back i'm just going to sure now that is a crisp neck band oh. so now we're going to attach the neck band to the top first thing we're going to do is we're going to match us because it has to be on the outside this is here and this is the right side so let me just write right side and this is the right sides your neck band will be on the outside of your fabric. Can you see that? This is the inside. Okay. So your this is the this is your uh, top. This is your neck band. This is the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to match up these notches just like that. So they match. Just get a little clip. Then you have two dots these dots are going to go on your shoulder seam on the outside can you see that okay so then we're going to put that dot right there on the shoulder seam on the outside of the garment and again the dot on the just making sure that that's not twisted the raw edges at the top so there's the dot and there is my shoulder seam and it's going to go right there and we're going to pin that raw edges at the top on the outside and then we're going to take I should think that's about right and we're going to use a clip there so now all you have to do is fill in close the gap between this and this Stretch this, stretch your neckband to match that, and you see. But that is going to be the way to do it on your serger and not just like this. You have to pull one and it will match, and then it will pop back, and that's how it's going to work. Now, if you're terrified, and I don't blame you, I would stitch this first using your sewing machine, a straight stitch, a long straight stitch. Make sure that you've got it the way you want it and then you can serge it at the end. It will be absolutely quite reasonable to do that on your sewing machine to make sure that it fits and then you could just finish it off on your serging machine. So let's go and have a look at doing Okay, so just take it really slow. I'm not really looking to cut anything off. I'm just looking to attach. So. Making sure. 
sure that it's all evened up. in that band to keep it together making sure it's nice and dry. to the shoulder seam now. Those two to match and lie down nice and flat. So I have to give it a good stretch, pull this up so it meets the raw edge, just like that. Oh, it slipped just a bit, let's just push that up. So why you got to take it nice and slow. I'm stretching the neck band and I'm keeping the shoulders all together. It's fiddly, but it's absolutely doable. Got to keep all those raw edges together. So I've actually got my neck band facing down because it's really curly, and I just found it it's going to be easier to. So I'm stretching and sewing at the same time really stretching it. I'm going to leave that clip in just to keep the tension. As you can see I'm stretching. I'm not looking to take any of the excess off but it does curl. Edges are all lined up. Oops. There we are. Stretch. Stretch. Make sure it's all flat, right? Take that one off. Coming up to the next shoulder. Oops. I want to get rid of those. I need them. Okay. So I'm really going to pull. Make sure the neck band is flat because that shoulder seam is there. I'm going to re-pin re -pin that one. Okay. Pulling the neck band. This is the final furlong. Let's do this. All right. Oops. And this is where I started, so we want to make sure they're all lined up. It's nice and flat. Keep stretching. Here we go. Chain off. 
Okay, we got Moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Oh, let's clip all the edges. Okay. Put that back on. Okay. Here we have it. Let's see. How did that all go? Well, already I see a hole here. But that's okay, because we can just go over it again. That's not a problem. So let's look at it from the right side. Yeah, there we go. Give that a nice press and we're fine. I have a little hole with a notch, not a problem. I'm just going to go back over with my serger, if you can see that. Okay, we have attached our neck facing to our, we attach the facing using our serger and that's just nicely on and as you can see, lovely. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew up our final seams and we're going to be using this little gadget again. So once we have matched up our raw edges, this is the wrong side. So it's the wrong side we're working on. Before we pin, we're going to get our five eighths again using the same method. It'd be better if I could have a nice sharp edge instead of having that, so that's better. There we are. Follow it round. So it's a curve, it's a little bit tricky. And do that all the way along all the way down and then we're ready and then you will clip it just like so and don't forget to match your seams up very important so matching your seams up and then we are ready to serge so okay so now that we have drawn our line all the way along we're ready to take it to the serger and sew along and we're pretty much there Now once again remember you want your blade to be hitting the chalk mark and if you're really nervous make sure it's hitting between inside the chalk mark if you have like I don't want to go too much over just make sure it's hitting in between but if you want an absolute 5 8 then it needs to be on the chalk line so nice and slowly Oh, excuse me, I have forgotten to put my blade back. That's why it's punching up. Okay, so let's start that again. And here we go. It's hitting the chalk mark. Make sure it's nice and flat here. Just take your time. There is no rush at all. Coming up to the armholes, so just take your time going around these corners. nothing underneath and it's flat feel that. There we go. And we're on to the onto the straight so but we must always check that there's nothing underneath that because this is very curly. Make sure your edges are lined up. Like 
that. Okay, I can feel a bulk underneath. So there we go. That's better. Make sure your edges line up. There's no bulk underneath. And you're cutting on your chalk line. Do you know what? It doesn't matter if you make any mistakes. At the end of the day, we're all staying in our house. And this is sort of loungewear to wear whilst we wait out the disease, I suspect. So it's all flat. That's one down. So curly and I do not want it shifting so I'm going to take my time here what's the phrase measure twice cut once well, the same goes for positioning because your serger is cutting so you absolutely want to make sure that everything is matching so let's just put that underneath let's get going See, look, it wasn't quite because this was a notch and it's stretchy. We really want to make sure that we hit and we cut that off because we definitely don't want that a gaping hole in our lovely top. A good jersey well, you can wash and wear, you can tumble dry. It's just a really good fabric to, to work with. Well, it's not actually a nice one to work with, but it is gorgeous to wear. And I guess you just have to have patience. Let's just make sure all these seams are matched up. Okay, slightly shifted here, so let's just readjust as we go. Make sure it's nice and flat. Here we go. So tempting to sort of like just gun it at the end, but we don't want to do that.
Okay. So here we have our seams that we've already sewn and the moment of truth. There we have, I'm going to put it on the mannequin, oh, there we go, a lovely easy nice sweatshirt to be wearing around the house, I've got the sleeves so we'll keep you cool and warm depending on what temperature you're at, all you've got to do now is hem it, you just turn it over once and then again and then so I would I would actually um, if you've got a cover stitch I'm going to I've got a cover stitch and I'm going to be trialing that one out because I've never used it before so that's going to be new um, you could use a cover stitch but if you don't you can just search the edge and then turn it over and then just sew or uh, your hem around and then you're finished thank you so very much for watching and I am looking forward to doing more work on Jersey because I bought a lot of fabric, as you can see, in different colors. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of work on Jersey and on the serger. So stay tuned and subscribe for more videos on how to use your serger, how to sew with Jersey, and please subscribe to my channel, rate and comment. Thank you.